we are at Sam's Club for the first time. Um, Nick came here. Actually, if you watched like my last vlog, I think it was Nick came here and checked it out when we had the major food sh shortage after the winter storm. And um, so I'm really excited to like be here and to see what kind of food they have and stuff like that. Hopefully they have some like organic and vegan options for us and the membership was worthwhile. We really literally just bought it to get water when we were here last time because you couldn't find water anywhere. So anyways, that's what we're out and about doing today. Are we ready to move on to like other things besides no. chairs? No. No. Okay, so I really love that these products are non-GMO. Like we found this huge thing of salsa. The kids, yeah, the kids love guacamole. And we found some non-GMO little individual cups of guacamole. They also have the same for like little hummus singles. And I feel like these would just come in so handy for like lunches and stuff like that. But we ended up getting these. They're oat milk salted caramel pops. And we haven't tried these before, but they're no dairy and non-GMO. And we found these uh, Beyond Burgers. I love them because they're not, they don't contain soy. And most of the vegan meats do contain some form of soy. So I'm excited. We got a big pack of these. Okay, so figured I would do a grocery haul. Sorry, I'm starving. I went to the grocery store hungry, can you tell? We actually did um, HEB and, which is our like our local grocery chain. They're amazing, by the way. If you look up HEB and all of the amazing things that they do, like they've sent relief to Florida, they sent relief to California when the wildfires were happening. They're amazing. Like in a time of need, like our most recent winter storm, they were like rolling out with pallets of water for people and like food and they're just, they're so incredible. So anyways, <laughs> enough about HEB. Um, and then I also went to Sam's Club and this was my first time going to Sam's Club, like I mentioned. So that was a pretty cool experience. Um, and I was really surprised to see how much they had there that we can eat because we only eat, um, it has to be organic or non-GMO and um, we're vegan so no dairy or eggs or anything like that either all right so let's just dive into what we have this is good karma milk this is my preferred milk um, out of all of the milks out of all of the non-dairy milks this is my preferred this one is the vanilla unsweetened but they do have um, just regular unsweetened too. I am like a soup person because they're so easy for lunches and usually I'm like working throughout the day. So this is just a really easy grab and go. So I love the Amy soups. Um, some of them have cheese in them. So if you are vegan, just something to keep in mind. Got some little baby tomatoes for Silas. Cashews are something that we always, always, always have and never run out of because we all love them. The kids also got some Cliff, no, yeah, Z bars. <laughs> They're Cliff bars. Um, and then they, I think they got some other bars too. And we also really love granola. So we load up on granola. That's something we all eat. This is a, um, dairy-free yogurt 
and the kids love it. The brand is so delicious, and then it comes with like little granola clusters that you can use in there too. And we have smooth we have smoothies every morning. So this is the protein powder that I use. This is what goes in our smoothies. Lots of fresh fruit and vegetables. We have peppers, we have cantaloupe, we have watermelon, apples, red potatoes, carrots, celery for my celery juice every morning. Lettuce for salads. Um, this is the type of bread that we eat. The kids eat, I should say. I don't eat it because bread is not good for you. Not good for me anyways. Um, anyways, it's by Nature's Own, and it is the white thick slice. It's great for French toast, which when I make French toast, I do eat that. So bread is like a rare occasion for me. It's like a splurge. Um, we also really love the Dave's Killer bread as well. Um, it's a really good brand, but it's like twice as much as this bread. Crackers and hummus are like my go-to snack. And speaking of go-to snack, these are also delicious. If you haven't had these mini cakes, they are so good. I buy the salted caramel and I also buy the um, regular sea salt too. Salad dressing, I love the diet. Ranch, just, the brand Just used to make the best ranch ever and it was so good and it tasted just like ranch, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, they stopped making it though to focus on their mayonnaise recipe. So I'm really sad about that and I hope that they bring it back. But until then, Daya is my go-to. The kids wanted to roast some marshmallows. So they have non-GMO vegan marshmallows. Their brand is Dandies and they actually do taste just like marshmallows. And I got some organic stevia because I told my husband, he was like, why don't you ever bake for me anymore? And I love baking, but I can't eat like a lot of sugar. My body just rejects it. So I bought some stevia and I'm hoping that I can start baking him some things. I think I'll start with some muffins or something. This was at Sam's Club. It's a gigantic thing of almond butter, and it is non-GMO. I prefer almond butter over peanut butter, but the kids don't. The kids like peanut butter better, so I have to buy both. Let's see. Oh, we have avocados. Um, vegan mac and cheese by Annie's. Annie's and Amy's are both really good brands if you're looking for something that's organic or non-GMO. Whether you are vegan or not, because they have both um, vegan options and non-vegan options. So those are two of our go-tos. But the kids love this. They also love the Daya, which is the same brand as the Branch. They also love that version of the mac and cheese, too. It's more like a shells and cheese. Um, okay. I always buy noodles because we love pasta. Like pasta is probably the main part of most of our dinners. There's some sort of grain or some sort of noodle in there. So I always load up on noodles when I'm there. And let me take this down and I'll go around and see what else I haven't shared yet and that I didn't share when we were at Sam's Club. All right, so please excuse the mess. Um, we've been gone all day, but we got these at Sam's Club and then the kids love the fruit cups and I was so excited to see that the Dole has the non-GMO fruit cups and they have pineapple chunks as well. So that's super exciting. Bananas for the smoothies and plus we're just like banana people in general. And then they love naked smoothies. I bought them the Mighty Mango, the big bottle at HEB, but I also got them this variety pack for the smaller individual ones for their school lunches. And I got these at Sam's Club to try. I've never had these before, but they looked pretty good. And they're similar to the rice cakes that I just shared from Skinny Pop. Oh, these were the other bars that they got. They had kind kids bars at um, Sam's Club. So we got those. And then this is the cheese that we use. It's by Follow Your Heart. We love the American style slices, and then they also have like a smoked Gouda. That's really good too. So those are that's what the cheese that we use for like grilled cheeses um, and add on veggie burgers and stuff like that. Oh, 
Oats are a must have in our house too. I love oatmeal um, and I love making things with oats, like baking things with oats. And I put oats in our smoothie every day too, to help you um, feel fuller for longer. So that's a little life hack. If you're a smoothie person, you can add oats and it helps you feeling fuller for longer. I also picked these up for the kids because I have the hardest time getting them to drink water. So as soon as I saw this and that it was like flavored and it has probiotics, I was totally on board and they tried, they've only tried the um, strawberry lemonade flavor so far, but they love it. Okay. So I thought it would be fun to put together um, kind of like my morning routine and share some of my healthier lifestyle and living habits since I shared, um, I will be sharing our grocery haul with y'all. Um, I shared a little bit about what we eat. Now I'm going to do like kind of like what I eat in a day, um, starting with my celery juice and my smoothies in the morning. So I have everything set up to make the celery juice and to make the smoothies. And I'm just going to kind of do a little time lapse and stop and walk you through um, what I use in my smoothies and making the juice and things like that. Okay, so first up is the celery juice. I have my celery here. I literally buy it like a week in advance. And I've got the juicer. When this one bites the dust, I already have one picked out from Amazon that I wanna replace it with. Um, and it's supposed to keep your juice good for like three days instead of the 24 hours that you have with the normal juicer. So that's why I want that one because then I can just like, bulk batch my celery juice and not have to make it every morning or every other morning. Okay, so I have one glass. This is for today. And then I also make two jars for the next day because like I said, you can get by with um, like a 24 hour time period between when you make it and when you need to drink it. And um, that's because of like the oxidization and all of the like active and live enzymes. Sorry, I have like something on my mouth. All of the um, active and live enzymes that when you juice it are there and then dissipate over time. So um, if you are not a fan of celery, you might not like the taste of celery juice because it tastes just like celery, but it has so many health benefits. I drink it and I feel like a thousand times better. Like I can tell on the days when I drink it versus the days that I don't drink it. And it is just so good for you. You can literally like Google it. It started like medical medium, totally made it like this huge thing that it is. And I was really hesitant to jump on board with that just because I'm not someone who'd like bad diets and stuff like that. But um, I gave it a try after my friend shared her experience with it. And this was like after resist, resist, resist for months. And I'm hooked. Now I drink it. I try to drink it every day. I forgot to share that I use these little bottles that I got from Amazon to store the juice in when I make it for the next day. And they have, they come in like a set of, I want to say like eight or 12. So I will be so excited when I can finally make like three days worth and use more than just two bottles at a time. Okay. Now for the smoothie. Um, I want to share this blender with y'all for one, because I got it from Amazon and for two, it's literally like the best blender that I've had. It was, I was looking, I was honestly trying to decide between whether or not I wanted a Vitamix or a blend tech. And, um, I ended up finding this one because everyone was saying that it was like comparable to a Vitamix and the power, whatever the Watts or whatever the measurement is behind it, like it gets the job done for sure. So I love this blender. I'll share it. I'll show the base and everything here in a minute. Um, and I'll link it down in the description too, because it's that good. But right now I'm just going to walk you through, um, what I put in my smoothies and then I'll actually put my smoothies together. But this is my go-to milk. I love the Good Karma Flax Milk. It's the best that I found when it comes to um, being good for your body and like the nutrients inside of it. And this one is um, fortified with 
protein. Um, it has eight grams of plant protein, and then it also has omegas and stuff like that. So amazing milk, and plus it's really good for smoothies. And then I also do this protein powder, which I'll be sharing in my grocery haul because we just got it. This is probably one of my favorites. I've tried a lot of different brands of vegan protein powder and um, Garden of Life is just one of my go-tos for like supplements in general. So love this. They also have it in chocolate and unflavored too. And then I do fruit. Um, I usually have like frozen spinach that I add into it, but I didn't get any at the grocery store. So that kind of stinks. So I'm out of the spinach, but um, I usually sprinkle in like a handful of frozen spinach and I'll do bananas. And then I also do blueberries are my favorite, but the kids like more of the tropical fruit, like the mango and the peaches and um, like pineapple and strawberry mix and stuff like that. So I just kind of buy it all. But since I'm only making a smoothie for me today, I am just using the blueberries. Oh, and like I shared in my grocery haul, which you will see coming up. I know I keep referring back to it, but um, I love putting oats in my smoothies too, just because it helps me keep, keep feeling fuller for longer. So it's just one of my go-tos. Um, not It's great for fiber, obviously getting in your grains and stuff for the day, but that, that feeling of fullness really lasts longer with the oats. Okay, so here is the base of the um, blender. I love that it even has like the smoothie option and then you can choose like how high of a power that you want. So it just has like so many like adjustable things and I just, I love it. And this is obviously the um, tank for the actual smoothie itself. And you just put all of your ingredients in here and throw it on here and then it comes out in this delicious smoothie. By the way, if you are not a fan of plastic straws like me, um, you should definitely check out these silicone straws that I got from Amazon. I love, obviously, they're eco-friendly. Um, and we do have glass ones too, but I like the glass ones for like mocktails and stuff like that, something that's a little bit more like fancy. Um, because these are so much wider and I feel like these are just like the perfect smoothie straws and I drink them all the time. I use them all the time for like any drink. I'm definitely like a straw user in general. So I feel like they just come in handy. Plus the kids really love them too. Okay, so the workouts that I have been doing and loving lately are the Pilates class, and I cannot remember the instructor's name, but she has this platform, and there's so many different, like, class options, and I love that they're all, like, they range from anywhere from, like, 10 minutes to 45 minutes. It's nothing, like, too long or too extensive. And like, as you can see, there's yoga, there's Pilates, she has bar variations. She also does a lot of prenatal and postnatal classes, which I think is really cool. Um, oh, look at this one. This one's like mom and baby. <laughs> um, but anyway, she's an amazing instructor and I love that the classes are just all doable and feasible and the annual membership is like next to nothing and you get to do them in the luxury of your own home. And um, I can definitely tell a difference in my body and I just love Pilates in general. I love all of the core strength that it brings and it just makes everything nice and toned. So I'm going to choose a class and then I'm going to take a little video of me doing that so you can get a better feel for like what the classes are like.
here's the ingredients that I'm using for this um, blueberry oat muffin recipe. I have chia seeds. These are something I'm adding extra. Um, normally I wouldn't put those in there. Normally you won't find recipes with those in there, but I love chia seeds. Um, salt, we've got the baking powder, we've got the egg replacer, which I just shared. I'm excited to try. And then instead of using any sort of sugar, I'm using stevia. This is so much better for your um, blood sugar and glucose levels and things like that. And it has a very different um, effect on your body in a positive way than regular sugar. So um, if you are wanting a good sugar alternative, this is it. And I also really like coconut palm sugar too. Um, so, um, we've got our oats. I'm getting ready to soak these. We've got the flour. This is just an organic, I think it's whole wheat flour. And then our large bag of blueberries. And then Buddha is clearly going to be little to no help because he is just laying there sleeping. Probably will get under my feet at some point because he cannot leave. He cannot not leave my side. Okay, so we have the dry ingredients ready to mix. We have the egg sitting. Um, you have to mix it with water, so it's like a powder forming. You just mix it with water so it thickens up a little bit, which you can kind of tell like it is pretty thick already. We have the oats and the chia seeds soaking. So we're good on this front. The oven is preheating, almost done. And now we have to melt the butter. So this is the kind of butter, this is what we use in general, not just like to make muffins with, but um, it's earth balance. And honestly, it's like amazing. You would never be able to tell if you didn't see the container that it's not butter, like not actual dairy butter. So um, I've got it measured out in here. I'm gonna scoop it into here. All right, so I'm gonna start mixing in some of the ingredients. I don't know if this will be able to pour out. I might have to get a knife and scrape it. It's definitely thick though. Hopefully this egg replacer works. And now for the butter. Okay, now it's time to mix. I feel like we have the perfect consistency and the perfect batter for these blueberry muffins. It's like sticky, but not like gross sticky. So I think that we're gonna be okay. And I think that these are gonna turn out great. And I know that the kids are gonna be so excited for when they get home and they get to eat them. They look so yummy. They're obviously not very smooth, but that's because of the oats in them. And the only downside was is that I apparently did not make enough to fill my entire muffin pan. <laughs> or I made some of them too big and some of them smaller, I'm not sure. Nonetheless, the kiddos are going to be home any minute, and I'm excited for them to try. So, how's the flavor? It's good, but it's a lot of uh, blueberries. Too many blueberries? What no. about you, babe? Not too many. Um. <laughs> oh. You've got a full mouth. Mm -hmm. Does that mean they're good? It's like bread and blueberries. Bread and blueberries. Bread and blueberries. Okay, so, so one of our favorite side dishes are red potatoes, and I literally just wash them, cut them up, and then add some olive oil and some dill onto them. So that's exactly what I'm getting ready to do.
Okay, so now I'm just gonna spray it down with some olive oil. I've already sprayed the pan. I'm just gonna kind of coat the potatoes. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of some garlic powder on there. This is really hard to do one-handed. And top it off with dill. And dill totally makes the whole dish work. So if you are not a dill person, you can always sub this out for whatever your favorite um, herb or seasoning is. Next up is the lasagna. So I just have some lasagna noodles here, non-GMO. Love that they're starting to make these non-GMO, by the way. And some marinara um, red sauce. And then what I do instead of the, babe, what kind of, what kind of cheese are you supposed to use in regular lasagna? Are you sure? Okay. And so instead of the ricotta cheese, I actually use this. I also buy this at Target um, and it is delicious and it mixes up perfectly with the sauce. I'll show you exactly what I do. And then I normally have some meatless crumbles, kind of like um, hamburger crumbles um, that I put in here, but I don't have any today. So it's just going to be the cheesy um, pasta and the red sauce. And here is the finished product, finished plate. The kids have obviously already dove in. They did not wait for us to sit down and I eat with them at, at all. They're your favorite, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you, Sai Sai? Do you like the red potatoes? Yeah. Normal people like stock up on like eggs and milk, I think is like what they buy at the grocery store. but. Let me show you what I buy in order to feel like I know that I have something to make. I buy potatoes. Like if I have potatoes in my refrigerator, I know that I will have food. I know that there are so many things that I can make with potatoes. So that's like literally what I stock up on. Marley, do you want to share what you're thankful for? Sure. I'm finishing eating you have to share with the full mouth. No, I don't. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my friends, my family, it's delicious dinner, I had a good day. That once we get our benchmarks over with, we'll be back to normal. We'll have a regular schedule. I won't have to worry about studying and whatever. And then um, I'm thankful that, hmm, obviously so thankful that the weather has been good until this day, then we go back to school. I was freezing at recess. Say, say, share what you're thankful for. Um, I'm thankful for my friends, my family, the delicious dinner, um, I lost the chase during spring break, and uh, I went to Brant's house yesterday. Is this what reality TV feels like? No. It's not my sound up. Babe, what are you thankful for? These. These potatoes. That's not funny. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for this delicious dinner and the two most wonderful kids in the world. Mm -hmm. And my smoking hot wife. 
and my new coffee maker. And that we have such an awesome line. And all things that are good. That was good. We do have an awesome life. I'm thankful that we're healthy and happy. And for our friends and our family, and that includes you. And I'm thankful for our doggies. I'm thankful for where we live because it's the best place on earth. For our new house and our new car. I'm thankful that we get to spend so much time together as a family and have family dinners every night during the week. Mm -hmm. And I'm thankful for all of the good things that are going to come our way. And this is how our dinner ends. Are you feeling lonely down there? I'm here. Hello. Aww. Your beloved owner, Somebody the one who gives you the most attention in this whole entire household. Somebody They're actually the owner.